So when I've been asked to talk about the Hex Investment Trust, um, things are going really well. I do need to preface that it is a 506C uh, registered security. So it is an actual security. It is for accredited investors. And it is a, a way of recreating like the Grayscale Bitcoin Trust in the legacy markets. So there's, a, as you all know, there's trillions upon trillions of dollars in the retail and legacy markets. And so we want to be able to capture some portion of that and be able to grow the hex, not only awareness, but also obviously the price. We like the idea of that. Um, we have come up with some really cool metrics for it when we go public. Right now, we're not doing anything special with it. Uh, it's in the private stage. When we are able to go public, then we are looking to um, change the way that the trust operates, which will give it an advantage over the Grayscale Bitcoin Trust because it will be a yield-bearing instrument, whereas Grayscale has nothing but sitting on it. And right now, um, with their back-end partners, um, uh, DGC, they are in some big financial trouble. They're thinking about maybe paying everybody back. We got no uh, none of those externalities. In fact, we've not even charged fees to the investors. So there's a two percent, uh, a two and a half percent maintenance fee every year, and we've not charged that. We probably won't until we go public. But uh, without giving away too much information, because we haven't done a whole lot with it, other than we're just accepting. Um, um, investor money right now. And a lot of that has come from self-directed IRAs, which we've been really grateful uh, that Rocket Dollar and their um, custodian approval has been super, super great with working us and our, with us and our team. There's a lot of you guys out there that may be accredited investors and you're not even sure you are, but you'd like to put your money in something like this that's going to have outsized gains compared to uh, pretty much everything except tech unicorns out there. So there's an opportunity for you guys to do that if you're interested. If you're not sure if you're an accredited investor, we have a, a trusted third party that we use that verifies that. Um, so the hexinvestmenttrust.com is where you can go to find that. Um, the, the inquiry form just to get started and everything. Um, we can't give the PPM out. We're legally obligated to not give the PPM out until we show that you are an accredited investor. And then, then we go through the whole subscription process of you guys bringing that money in. Uh, via the Rocket Dollar or some other uh, self-directed company. Or you can actually, if you don't want to do it through uh, a, a tax deferred or a tax um, um, tax lit or tax lit free bucket, so to speak, like an IRA. Uh, uh, well, it's pre-tax for, uh, um, so, um, for the Roth IRA. Um, so you pay taxes on the money before it goes in. But if you don't want to do that and you just want to invest as an investor, you still can. You just have to worry about your tax situation every year. It's totally an opportunity for people uh, to get a ticker symbol out there that is hex related, that is tradable on the NASDAQ. That is our goal. Uh, after we have at least 50 investors, which we're, we're a little shy on that, or and or $10 million, we were actually pretty close until as we know, this bear market hit. But we've been very fortunate that we still have multiple investors monthly that are still uh, subscribing to the subscription agreement and adding to those dollar amounts. And we all know when it runs up, it's going to be very, very easy um, based upon past performance. If it does what it's done in past performance, um, the, the, the digital asset known as HEX that underlies the trust, um, then we're going to have a pretty easy opportunity to... Uh, to justify to the SEC that it hits all the terms and conditions to be able to go public. We get an OTC QX listing at that point in time, and then we're off to the races on the NASDAQ. Then we got to figure out what we'll probably do. So um, we, we've, like I said, we've never taken any of the maintenance fee from the, the customers. We've never, or the clients, we've never, um, we've never charged that to them. We've just paid for all the expenses out of pocket to date which it was a lot more expensive than I expected it to be. Um, but I mean, we're talking about financial products and, and that was a new ball game for me, even though I had done things similar to it. I had never gone down this road before. But things are going great with the X investment trust. Um, obviously with the market being the way it is, it's a little slower than we were hoping to, but it's okay. Uh, we're willing to cover those bills until we can get things to that across the finish line because uh, GBTC did big, big things for legacy finance, getting the attention of, of 
Bitcoin as well as being on news and financial news talk shows all the time. So uh, we're hoping that that will have the same positive effect uh, for Hex as it did for Bitcoin.